Do you think this will fit in their Easter basket? I'm kind of unsure. Hey, hey guys, so I am totally out of breath from carrying all of these Easter basket gifts from the garage into the house, taking them out of their bags from the stores and all of that. But this is all for you guys, okay? I do it for y'all, all right? <laughs> anyway though, I love shopping for my kids for like Easter and Christmas. I love the holidays. It's a really good memory that I have as a kid. My mom was always really good about finding exactly what I would always have dreamed of for Christmas and Easter and everything. So this may seem excessive to some. And it also may seem like not that much to others. You know, it's all about perspective. But for me personally, as I've watched other videos, I do feel like I go a little bit above what some people, I'm not on like, you know, there's a different level out there on YouTube, but like of the average moms, I feel like I do go a little bit too far when it comes to the baskets, but um, my kids love it. They love Easter. I love seeing their faces. I just love the act of the love language of gift giving. I absolutely love that. I think it's so much fun. So um, to me, this is just the right amount. It's not too much, but it's not too little. Now, of course, as I get through this, I may notice, uh-oh, I'm not even. I need to get somebody, one of the kids. I have four kids, so I may be like, ugh, one of the kids ha needs um, one more thing, or maybe I need to, like, take this away and save this for one of their birthdays or something because I went overboard with one kid. So <laughs> there's, like, a funny meme or something on Instagram I've seen of, like, moms on Christmas time or Easter where they're like, I'm not even, I have to go to the store, I'm not even. And the kid is like, I'm, we're 30 years old, mom. Like, we don't care, you know, it's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna be that mom that's like, my kids are gonna be 30 and I'm still gonna be rushing to the store to like get even for them, for their gifts. But anyway, let's just get into this. So I'm gonna try to go by like each kid. I'll just go like oldest to youngest, I guess, or should I go youngest to oldest? Maybe I'll go youngest to oldest because my little girl, my baby girl, I'm so excited. She is two. So I feel like this is the first Easter that she's really going to be excited. She kind of was excited last Easter, but this Easter she's like two and a half. I think she's just going to have so much fun. And she's my first girl. If you're new here, I have three boys and a girl. I have a 15-year-old, a 7-year-old, a four-year-old and a two-year-old and she's my only girl and it's just so fun. I like getting the boys stuff but it's so fun to get girly things that I like too. Me and her are going to be trouble with like shopping and stuff as she gets older with clothes because she already loves clothes. So anyway, I think I will start with her. Now most of the kids have a basket like this which I don't have it like set up properly but it's like a from Pottery Barn and it's this cute little bunny on this very nice big basket, which I knew I wanted big baskets because I get too big of things, hence the pickleball net or whatever, which will not fit in any of the baskets, unfortunately. But, um, and then on the ears, it has their names. So this one says Carter, which is my oldest. So I love these and I really want to get one that has in pink Charlie's name, but I just haven't been able to justify purchasing it because she was like a newborn baby. Like she wasn't getting that much stuff. This year she could have used one, but I kind of just, Easter's early this year, warning, it's early this year. And I just didn't feel like I had it in the budget and didn't have the time to order it and everything. But next year for sure, she will have a basket like the boys. This year she has her little tiny basket that she's used and then I actually got her a wagon and so I think I'm gonna put some of her stuff in her wagon. So that way she's kind of, hopefully that will equal out to the size of the boys' baskets. So anyway, let's just get started. If you're looking for ideas for two-year-old toddler girls or boys of multiple ages, teenagers, you know, preschooler, elementary age kids, then you've come to the right place. So let's just get started. Okay, so this is the basket I've been using with her. This was, I think, my husband's, which is funny because it's pink, but I think this was his when he was a kid. I don't know, but um, I don't have these like organized yet. I do that like the night before, so please excuse that. Um, and some of the stuff I have to give her because she will see that her brothers 
have it and I already can see that becoming a problem. Uh, my oldest, I didn't have another child for, um, until he was eight and a half years old. And so it was a lot easier when you were just shopping for one kid and you didn't have to worry about being like, oh, they all kind of have to have similar or the same stuff or people are going to get upset. So one of those reasons is like a deck of cards. My two year old does not need a deck of cards. She's not gonna really use these deck of cards, maybe to pretend while we play. But my boys, you will notice, this is going to be like a theme in all the baskets, all of the boys I got, like a, they were a two pack at Target, so I got two sets of them for four decks of cards. My boys have been really into playing cards. My oldest has always been into playing cards, so I often will get him decks because he'll like lose them or they'll get bent or whatever. Um, but my two little boys, it's super cute. My four year old and seven year old have gotten really into playing cards. Even my four year old, he loves to play war. He loves to play go fish. We actually had an intense, intense game of war. That was me and Jack on a team versus Carter and Henry on a team. And we played multiple games. Jack and I won, just saying. But anyway, so I thought it would be fun because also we have, a, we use a deck of cards for my son Henry's homeschool curriculum with Math with Confidence. We use a couple decks and I'm tired of them stealing it from the school decks because then it gets lost when we're trying to do school. So anyway, we could always use more decks of cards. So she has one even though she won't use it. And then they all did get this snack. They are all obsessed with Pringles. At least my three little ones. My oldest likes them, but like my three little ones are like full on addicted to Pringles. Like I only get them every once in a while because you know they're not that good for you, but, and they make a mess. Like they crinkle them everywhere and it's pretty annoying, but they love them. So I saw these that were like Easter themed with a mustache and I was like, oh, that will look cute inside their baskets. It's a nice snack. I will show you guys, I do have a lot of candy, unfortunately. I started doing Easter when I was pretty young, when I was a teen mom with my oldest. And back then I wasn't so worried about how much sugar he was having. And so I would just get him all my favorite Easter candies. So now it's kind of a tradition. And I feel like if I stop now, just a few years before he graduates, um, he will probably be like, uh, like, where's the specific, like we have traditions basically of certain candies. Like I'm talking like chocolate coins, like very specific candies that they have to have in their Easter baskets that my oldest has grown accustomed to. And then my seven year old, he's already starting to figure it out. So that's that side of it where I do agree that I think I've gone a little bit too far with the sugar. It's kind of like they went trick or treating or something. But then the other side of it is like, your kids and like it's fun to get candy on Easter and I think in the eggs I am just going to put money in them this year because I used to put like some candy in the eggs as well so I'm going to at least cut back on that I think they'll be happy and it won't be disappointing because even Jack my four-year-old is into money he likes to get his coins and all of that he likes to work for money so I think it will be fun to have different amounts of money and coins and stuff in the eggs so I think we're going to move towards money with the eggs, so at least there's less sugar intake. But anyway, this is the candy. I will get to that in a minute. So next, these were so cute. So this is what makes me excited. Girls are so much Easter easier with Easter baskets, I'm realizing, because they like little dainty things like jewelry. There we go. Okay, so it's just these cute like little bracelets from the Cat and Jack line at Target, which is for little kids. Like, look at this. So cute, this little rainbow and unicorn, and this says, be kind. So anyway, she's gonna love these. Um, I got her some of these Chelsea Barbies. These are ones I've just learned about. I think they're all called Chelsea. Maybe not, I don't know. I think a lot of them are, this one isn't. But they're like smaller, so I did get her a regular sized Barbie, which I'll show in a minute. But these are the smaller Barbies. And um, they're just nice for little like toddler girls, I feel like. And this one was super cute. It's a mermaid. So I don't think you can fully tell because the tail is not on it. But this is a mermaid with like blue hair. And these were on sale for like $4 or something. I think I got them um, through Walmart. So got her a couple of these. And these will fit really nicely in her basket. They are a good size for that. And then she has like a little dollhouse. And so I think like a regular size dollhouse, you know. And so I think that um, these size Barbies will also fit in that dollhouse, which is nice because she doesn't have like a, 
Barbie dream house or anything yet. My guess is for Christmas one day she'll ask for one, but for now she just has a dollhouse and so these will fit in that, which I like. But then I also have started a collection for her of um, the Disney princesses. I like the Walmart versions. So um, this is Pocahontas. She doesn't have Pocahontas. She actually only had the Little Mermaid, which, oh, here it is. Um, so she only had this last summer and then um, the boys ripped its head off. This is the problem with brothers. Unfortunately, they ripped its head off. So um, I got another one. I had to wait some time, like almost the whole year because I was so upset. But hopefully I'm gonna tell them, please don't rip the Barbies heads off. Um, but yeah, so we got another Little Mermaid. We've been, me and the boys and everyone, we've been watching, besides my oldest, we've been watching Ariel um, or Little Mermaid. I'm really enjoying that movie. We like all the songs and the music of just the classic movies. I'm a true millennial, so I love like the Disney, classic Disney movies. And I know every word to all the songs and it's just fun. And Henry's been learning some in his voice lessons, my seven year old. So it's just like a fun way to listen to music with your kids, the Disney music. And it's something that I loved as a kid. So. Anyway, um, I got her two of the princesses to kind of revamp, start off her collection. This one's cute too, because it has um, whatever his name is, Sebastian. So that's cute. Um, so I thought that Pocahontas and Ariel from The Little Mermaid would be a good start for her princess collection. Another thing that I got her, I believe this was from Target, yeah, is this really high quality, really nice little kitty cat so it can stand. We actually found one at the park. It's so funny. We find a lot of like little toys at the park and stuff um, that kids just leave behind. But we found one of these and she was like, we were asking people around us like, hey, is this yours? This is yours. No one was claiming it. So she was kind of holding it and petting it and treating it like her pet. And then eventually some little girl came and took it from her. And I don't even think it was that little girl's toy, but you know, it wasn't ours, so we just let her have it. Um, but I thought, oh, that will be, it's so soft, you guys. Like, she is obsessed with animals. She loves our, we have a golden retriever that's about one year old, and she's obsessed with our golden retriever, plays with her all the time. And um, she just loves animals. We will never own a cat, because my oldest is allergic, and I don't really like cats, but I do think they're super cute. So, this guy is very cute. I like how the tail stands up. Like, something about it standing makes it feel like a real cat, and then it's so soft, and I can just see her petting it like she did at the playground. So this is a very, like, high-quality little kitty cat. And what little girl wouldn't like a little kitty cat like this? So cute. So, got her that. Um, and then I thought I'd show y'all some clothes. I'm not sure all that I'm gonna put in her basket, like how much of this, but she's into clothes already at two years old. Um, so this I thought was adorable. This was from Walmart. So cute, so cute, it says $13. So I actually saw a dress similar to this on Amazon that I think I'm gonna order for myself and then we will be like matching. And so maybe we'll wear this on Easter. It's just kind of like a casual Easter dress that will be matching or maybe we'll take pictures with it. I don't know, but I love like how flowy it is and she's just gonna be like, oh, cute. And she's gonna love it because she loves clothes. So excited for that. Then I also found her this dress at Target. They have so many cute dresses for little girls right now. It kills me, I want them all. But um, I thought this was so sweet for summer, just like a casual but cute dress. Maybe she could wear this on 4th of July, or I don't know, just very cute dress that I know she will love. And then um, I thought this set was so cute from Target. Well, I don't think it came as a set, but I think they did suggest that wearing these together. So it's these super cute, paper bag waist shorts. I love these purple shorts. I am very particular about her shorts. Like sometimes Target has these like booty shorts and I accidentally bought them once and I was just like, why is my toddler in booty shorts right now? I don't like it. So I want her to wear like a comfortable size. Like she's like on a playground running around playing and she, you know, it's she's just a baby, but still like I want her to be dressed. It's not even necessarily that it's about being modest. It's just about like, being comfortable and not just like being on display for everyone, you know what I mean? So I feel like these are a good length and I like that they're cuffed, so they're super cute. So, and then we also got her this. She needed summer clothes anyway, so probably I won't put all of this in there because I need to make things look balanced. So 
What most likely will make it is maybe one or two, this dress and maybe that dress. I don't know, we'll see. Um, oh, but I have this shirt too, I don't know. Some of this will make it, some of it won't. This probably won't make it, honestly, even though I think it's super Easter-y looking and cute. I love how this is like the sleeve kind of hangs down. Isn't that cute? And then it has like this little lemon thing on the side. I just think that's so cute, especially with the shorts, really cute. So I think this is a very Easter-y looking outfit. So maybe I'll put it in there, I haven't decided. But then I also just got this t-shirt, she just needs more t-shirts. Look how cute this is. So it's pink and girly, but it's dinosaurs. I love that like juxtaposition because that is totally my daughter. She has three older brothers and she is very like, she is tough, tough as nails, like just as tough as them or tougher. And she loves to play and run around and like, you know, I don't feel like that needs to be boy or girl or whatever, you know, but um, girls do tend to be like, at least I had four sisters and we were all kind of quiet and sweet. And so I do think sometimes that's like in girls nature, they're a little bit, I've heard easier than little boys because little boys tend to be very like hyper and stuff. I don't know. I'm not trying to like get in a debate about boys and girls, but I don't see a lot of little girls loving dinosaurs and I, because boys like rough things and scary things and you know, girls like sweet things like little kittens and stuff. I mean, it's just generally true. It's not always, but I like that this kind of brings in the dinosaurs because dinosaurs are fascinating and cool. And I know she's going to like dinosaurs just because her brothers do. So anyway, I thought that was a cool t-shirt to, and it's like, feels Easter-y looking the color. So we'll see what clothes of those end up in the basket, but I know she'll be like, oh, cute when she sees it. And that'll just be really sweet. So, um, then a theme okay so this is like huge and i don't know what's gonna fit so a theme that i have going on for my two little boys is um like lego educational type thing like to me legos are kind of educational and like this says this is the lego duplo which i would definitely recommend lego duplo for um like one, it says one and a half, I think is the youngest, like one and a half to like four or five, maybe even six. Like I feel like the regular Legos, like I have a regular, well, I'll show you guys that in a minute. I feel like the regular Legos are really hard for most kids. My Jack Jack is like an artist and a creator and he's four and I feel like he's going to be earlier than my older two were with being able to put Legos together. But, um, my oldest had essential trimmers, his hands shook, so he's never that into Legos, but my six-year-old, he's kind of into them, but he more so likes doing it with me. And I, he needs a lot of help. Like he can follow some of the steps, but he needs a lot of help. And while I think that's great, and like this said, it's emotional, social, creative, cognitive, physical. I think that's so true about Legos in general. Um, so I love that. But sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish they could just do it on their own for a minute. You know what I mean? Like have it be like a little quiet activity for them to do while listening to an audiobook. Like that's my fantasy mind that I want to get them to. So anyway, I think the easier, the better. And especially what I like about the Lego Duplo is that they're hardier and cause they're meant for like the little ones to get to play with them afterwards. Whereas regular Legos are not really meant to be play with and kind of fall apart when you try to play with them. Um, so, I got this for Charlie because I want her to be in like into Legos just like her brothers because girls can, you know, think that way too. Maybe it's not always in their nature, um, but I want to nurture it because it's not just about nature, it's also about nurture. So I want to nurture that kind of thinking in her of creating and building and stuff. So anyway, I got her the train and I like that it has the numbers on it because my Jack Jack, who's four, he's still kind of learning to identify his numbers, or he's definitely still learning that. And she is already like learning. She already says two, like she wants two of things. This she knows two. So she'll be like, two. And she just, it's so cute. So anyway, um, I know she's gonna pick up on numbers way faster because she's just around school with her older brothers. So anyway, I think this is good and educational. Trains are always fun. Oh, and it comes with a little dog, which I know she will like. Um, and this cute little girl, oh, little girl's really cute. So Lego Duplos are just really cute and sweet and like pretty. 
So I would say just because this says one and a half plus, that doesn't mean that, oh, I have like a four-year-old, they're too old for this. No, I think my Jack Jack's gonna like this too, my four-year-old, so, but that's for her. And then another like educational type toy that I got her is this Baby Shark's Big Show. So my seven-year-old, he had a little bit of a speech delay when he was younger, like two, he wasn't really talking much at two, so we had him in speech therapy for about a year. Now he's totally fine, like talks great. Um, so it was great to get that early intervention and just get it taken care of. But anyway, the speech therapist brought this once and so it's like a little fishing thing and you put it like this and it, you turn it on, it plays the baby shark song and it goes around and around and they fish and try to catch the fish. And she would have them like, or she wouldn't have him count it, but she would have him tell her like what the colors were and it was just ways to like get him talking. Um, and so I think this will be good for, Charlie already knows her colors and of course Jack does too, but we can like count them and different things and Henry loved it. It unfortunately broke because you know it's going around and it's going to eventually break and like the little fish broke. It's only $8. So the little fish broke and the fishing poles broke like the one we had so years ago. So I was like it's time to bring this bad boy back and educational and it's fun. Okay, so. And what's going to hold a lot of her stuff is this wagon. This is actually a toy that we had in the past as well with my seven-year-old when he was little. Um, it's by Green Toys. It was on sale for 12 bucks. I love Green Toys toys. I feel like they're not out there as much, like, but you can find them for good prices because I feel like they're just in TJ Maxx or at thrift stores and stuff. Um, which I don't know if they went out of business or what, but I think their toys are so good or if they're going out of business, but this is like such a high quality wagon. Like I love the rope and the, you know, it's green toys. So it's like, uh, the plastic is hundred percent recycled plastic. Um, and little guys just love to pull things in wagons. You know what I mean? Like they just love that kind of thing. And she's really enjoying being, enjoying being outside. She always says outside, outside. She wants to go outside. So, um, I know that she will enjoy bringing this outside and pulling it around and putting stuff in it. Um, I do think that I want to try to bring it inside as well though, because our dog will probably chew this up. So it's going to get dirty and I'm probably just going to have to like hose it down and wipe it down before we bring it inside. But I'm going to put like some of her, um, you know, like bigger items in this wagon next to her basket. So that also worked out. Oh, and I also got her this one, Barbie. Um, this one was on sale and it's so cute. It also has blue hair, but it's not a mermaid like the other one with blue hair was. And it has like little swans on the dress. So her outfit's really cute and they can change clothes, which, you know, she's into clothes. So I can see her liking like dressing her Barbies and stuff. So I thought that this one was really cute. So now she has like a good collection of these like smaller Barbies, which is fun. All right. Uh, was that everything for her that was like only her? Okay. So another thing that all of the kids are getting is bubbles. So I just bought this set. It has like six of them. So um, we will all just, you know, either give them two each or something. This is for the little ones only. So yeah, I can probably just give them each two. Um, I'll probably give Charlie like the pink and the purple. Oh, I'm so excited to like make her basket look all girly and cute. Anyway, so I like another theme that I have going is one is like Legos educational for the little ones and then two is outdoorsy stuff because I like them getting outside and you know playing and especially like in the summertime and everything you know um, playing with water and all of that. So bubbles is always a hit basically all year round where we live. Um, another thing that I haven't gotten yet that I will just mention is they always get Buncho balloons, um, which I think we're just going to get like a big set on Amazon and then I'm going to split it up between the kids. But they also have these balloons that bunch of balloons are like water balloons that are super easy. Even my seven year old can do it. Just tie it to the hose. They fill up and then boom, you've got like a water balloon fight going. Um, so they're so convenient. But, you know, you can't reuse them, and then it has these little plastic things that are everywhere that you have to pick up. So I have heard of these reusable water balloons um, that we could try, but I feel like it might be more work, 
and stuff. So I don't know. I haven't decided if I want to buy the reusable ones this year or not. Um, but I do think at some point, maybe for Jack's birthday or something, I will get him some and we'll just try them because his birthday's in the summer. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Just get the regular bunch of balloons for Easter. And then in the summer, we'll try out like a little set for Jack for his birthday. And we'll just see. So those are always in their baskets. That's like an Easter basket staple. And I even put that in my 15 year old's basket because who doesn't love a good water balloon fight, right? Okay, so another thing that I'm gonna put in there that I would say is like educational, this is something that we use in our homeschool a lot, is Play-Doh. So I got a big set of just the classic Play-Doh. I think it even said classic, which I always like seeing that because I like the classic type stuff. So I will just split these up between the little ones and um, they will have Play-Doh to play with, which they, you know, Charlie mixes the colors, they forget to put it away, it hardens. Like we go through a lot of Play-Doh in this house. But it's a really nice activity that I can set them up with with some of their Play-Doh, um, you know, tools and utensils, and they'll spend like forever doing it and get really into it. And they go kind of through phases with loving to play with Play-Doh. So you can never have too much Play-Doh, and this is just an easy like smaller item. So I'll separate them to put in their basket. Another theme in their baskets is these ring pops. So these are the Egg Hunt. They sell these like every year. They're like more Easter themed ring pops. Um, my kids love ring pops and I think it's cause one year I got this and now it's like every year it's expected. So they will all get some ring pops in their basket. Okay. I think that is everything for Charlie. Fingers crossed. I think that's everything. So now we will move on to Jack, my four year old boy. So to go along with the Lego theme. So actually this is for my four year old and my seven year old. I got them these classic, love classic, Lego classic. These are the base plates. So I felt like this would fit nicely inside their baskets. And um, they only have one base plate and they like fight over it. So I figured it would be good to get a couple of these. And I honestly want a lot more, but we'll just start with two. Um, and you know, it's just like fun ways to like set up little scenes and stuff with their Legos. They really enjoy doing this. And then I actually saw um, on Instagram, a mom got a binder and like, taped or glued one of these onto the binder and then got like a pencil holder that you can fit put in the binder you know that has like three ring holes and put Legos in it and then it's like a travel thing she had her kid on the airplane playing with Legos in the binder and I was like oh that's a great idea if we're like going somewhere like to Henry soccer games or whatever and I'm just trying to like keep them entertained Jack would love that so I think I am going to set that up now that they each have their own, I think I'm gonna take the other one we have and put it in a binder like that. So, love these. So that's going in Henry and Jack's baskets. And then for Jack, my four year old, speaking of the Lego Duplo, I got him this set. So this will fit, okay? They're big baskets. <laughs> so this, um, I almost got him the regular Legos, not the Duplo, the regular Legos. It was a Spider-Man set because he really likes Spider-Man. He loves superheroes, Spider-Man specifically. Um, he has like Spider-Man PJs that he always wants to wear at night. And he always is like so excited when they're clean and stuff. So anyway. He's my like superhero kid who loves to like dress up and everything. So um, I was gonna get the regular Lego one, but then I saw the Duplo version. I was like, these look a lot more sturdy, you know, so easier to play with. And I liked that this has this that kind of, you know, hooks on and um, it has like a little cat. And I love that the Duplos have doors. I think that that's really fun. Kids like to have like little doors to play with. So. I liked this a lot and I'm really glad I switched that out. Uh, what's next for Jack? Okay, so this will probably, will it fit in his basket? Where is his basket? Okay. Uh, uh, it's possible. This can fit, it just takes up the whole basket. So, you know, <laughs> I'll probably just set it next to the basket. But as I was going on this like Lego Duplo, you know, kick, I saw these and I was like, oh. So my oldest had a set 
very similar to this when he was little and he loved it. So it's so nice because you can travel with it. You know, it has like these little handles and you can travel with the Legos, but they're also like more free play, like curiosity, self-expression, extra ideas included. So they're kind of more open-ended than like an actual set like this. And that's what my oldest liked. He would turn them into guns or whatever. Um, so I remember we loved these and I've never bought them for any of my other little kids. And so I was like, Jack needs these cause he's my little creator and builder. And I know that we could, this is another one that could travel with us. Um, if we're going to like activities or wherever we go, we could bring this. Cause that's what I did with my oldest. If we would go somewhere, I would just bring this little set with me. So I'm so excited for this and reminded me of my oldest when he was little, which I thought was cute. And I know Jack is going to love this. So Jack, like I said, is my little artist and I saw um, Rachel from Seven and All. She recommended this and I was like, I need that. And Easter is a good excuse to buy it. So it's the Kumon um, brand, I guess, or whatever, but it's my big book of cutting, pasting, and drawing. So she goes into pretty like good detail. It says ages three to six about this, but there's just there's like it teaches them how to draw like how do you draw an orange it gives you the steps on how to draw an orange which um she was saying if you have a kid that's not that into art this could be nice because it would kind of encourage them to learn which that's kind of like my six-year-old he really likes to watch videos and stuff on how to draw something that's the way he thinks whereas jack is just kind of able to draw it and doesn't really need that but i think he'll still enjoy this and have fun with it and i was not expecting this to be so huge so i think henry will do some of these as well but then there's a bunch of like cutting i got this off amazon i'll link it down below so like different cutting activities, um, which looks super fun. We haven't used this yet. Oh, this is like a puzzle. So you cut it and then put the puzzle together. I love that. Um, super cute. Tons of just very simple how to draw. So great start um, for kids with that. And just kind of teaches them, you know, how you can think of drawing something. And then it says do it on your own, which I think Jack will love. So anyway, very excited about this. I always like to put some kind of art thing for him. Oh, another thing I think I will grab for him that I don't have yet is the Water Wow um, things, you know, that they sell at the grocery store and stuff. They're always like at the checkout and you always ask for them. And I'll sometimes say yes, but a lot of times say no because can't, we can't always buy those and they, he kind of goes through them quickly. So I figured it would be a nice treat for him to get one of those in his Easter basket and it's a good small size. So I need to grab that, almost forgot. Can't forget that. Um, so what else is he specifically getting? I'm missing something. So he's obviously getting the snack and the cards. And then I'll show you guys the candy in a minute that they are all getting. Um, but I think that's it for what he's specifically getting. So he definitely needs his water wow thing. I actually did, if I feel like he needs it, We'll see if I'm even, you know. Um, I did get him this. It says four plus, and he is four, and it's the Ninjago. He has asked for these type of Legos, the Ninjago Legos before, so I think he would love this. Um, it's a little bit trickier, and I like that it's cars because he likes that, and they're kind of like little ninjas. So um, I was going to save this for his birthday because I found this instead. Um, his birthday is in June, but if I feel like things aren't even, I can always throw this in, but if I feel like we're good just take it out all right so then we will move on to um my seven-year-old so you know a lot of these things I've already showed you guys because they're all kind of getting some of the same stuff which is important but I also got my seven-year-old so he got a lego set that actually hasn't come in it come in yet his is um, like a, a sports car. He's been into sports car. He watches like Steven Share on YouTube. You know, they have all those fancy sports cars. So that will be fun. I know that he will like putting that sports car, car together and then he will like displaying it in his room because he's kind of into collections and decorating his room and displaying things. Like he likes to display his prime collection that after he's drank them, those prime drinks. So anyway, I think that um, he will really like that. That just hasn't come in the mail yet. Um, but then I also got him these this Domino's set. So we, I think Carter had Domino's at one point, but it's been many years. We lost the Domino's, everything. This one I thought was a really nice set because it comes with this case, 
the boys have been really into playing poker with Carter um, and Carter has like a poker chip set that's similar like this case but obviously it's bigger because it's poker chips um, and so I was like okay but having the case will be nice to try to keep these dominoes more organized and not lose them and then I've heard I've never played it I don't think but I've heard Mexican train dominoes is a lot of fun and so um, I figured this could be like a good family activity playing that um, and then also it's educational because it's like dominoes and numbers and he's learning about how to like see a group of, of um, you know, a number of group of things and know how many there are. That's like something he works on in his schoolwork. So I think this will be educational as well. And then I got him just some wiffle balls, which this, all the boys will like this. Um, but they like to play baseball or whatever. We have little boys that live behind us that just climb the fence and come over. And so I know that he likes to play baseball and stuff with them. And they obviously can't do that in the backyard with a regular baseball. So wiffle balls, I figure would be good for that. Get some outside and being active. Another thing that I got him is this junior football. Now, I wasn't sure if I was going to get this for my oldest or him. But I think I'm going to get this, give this to him. Um, so he's been really into playing like football outside with friends and then with my husband and you can always use, we have a football, but you can always use an extra one. So got him an extra football. I'm missing. Hmm. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something for him. It's probably somewhere, but anyway, we'll move on to my oldest. So this is my 15 year old. So for him, the main thing I was excited about is this towel. So this is. I don't want it here. Hopefully they're outside, but I'm not going to say what it is just in case he can hear me from the other room. Um, watching his little sister, but he needed a new one of these for his, I'll write it on the screen because I don't want to say it. Um, and he's a big fan of this and he already has like a covered thing, but anyway, so I like, I got this off Amazon, thought it was nice quality hooks on the bag and really pretty his is like nasty so he needed a new one i knew he would like this kind and then i also got him these going along with that theme uh, i got him some of these so that he can practice outside with that and then he likes these for some reason in the summertime he loves these so i thought i would just get him a set because they always get lost or the dog chews them up so got him that and then he needed some of these. I'm not saying the words just in case he's around listening, but he needed these. So always good to add something they need in there. And then of course he has the cards and the snack. Um, and then I also got him this. So I have heard that this game is just a lot. He loves this game here, but um, it takes a really long time to play, you know, and I've heard that this is quicker, but still fun. So I figured we give it a shot. It might be too kiddish for him, but we might enjoy it. I don't know. So figured we'd get, give it a shot. Uh, what else does he have? Okay, so now I'm going to show you all the candy. Okay. I feel like Charlie got a lot, and I might have to take away some of her stuff as I'm seeing this and save it for her birthday or something. But anyway. So they have to have the Reese's eggs. Like that's an essential. I love Reese's, my favorite food. I know they're not great for you at all, but there are healthy alternatives that I will eat um, that are much better for you and much less calories. But anyway, we love Reese's in this house um, and specifically the eggs. So you have to have that on Easter. And then you have to have the jelly beans, the Starburst jelly beans, have to have them. And then they each get a chocolate bunny, always gotta have it. So each one of them will get a chocolate bunny. These are really good, these Lindt Gold Bunny milk chocolate, really good. And then, um, oh, this is actually, okay, so I was, I was being, I was being kind of good with the candy. So I did get gum, and so that's kind of, you know, a little bit less sugar than candy. Henry really likes the watermelon flavor, so I'll give this to Henry and Carter, um, some gum. And, you know, that's better than, like, full-on candy in it. Then they each got uh, chocolate coins, like I said. These are the Easter-themed ones. They get these in their, um, their stockings as well, so had to have those for each of them. And then a Kinder Egg. Is there only three in here? Oh, I might have to go get one more Kinder Egg. A Kinder Egg is something, I mean, it's an egg, you know, it's just a staple in our basket. And then these we've actually never tried, and this is a healthier 
snack, I think. I mean, it says it's grass-fed beef, like fed and finished beef. Um, so I got the a red one. Oh, these are jalapeno. I just thought they were different colors. Oh, no. Where's the other one? I'm missing. I thought I got four of them. Oh, maybe I didn't get one for Charlie. Uh-oh, jalapeno. Maybe I should exchange them for just the original. I thought the green was cute, but anyway, these um, chomps. I thought, you know, the kids can try them. My oldest will probably think it's disgusting. I don't know, maybe he'll like it. So I figured this would be a fun time to try a new snack that's like a little bit of a healthier snack to have. So that's like the snacky version. So yeah. All right, I think that's about it, guys. I think I'm missing a few things, but hopefully you just get the idea. You get, hopefully it gave you like some ideas and just helped you, you know, think outside the box in some way. Not the, oh, I knew I was missing something. <laughs> I almost forgot this. Okay, so this, that's why Henry had less stuff. So this, I think I was thinking for specifically Henry, but now that I'm looking at it, I feel like maybe this should be like a group gift for like the family, like all the kids just next to behind the Easter baskets or something. So we have a really long driveways in our neighborhood and I saw our neighbors doing this where they got a pickleball net and put it like across their driveway and we're playing pickleball. We already have the pickleball rackets or whatever you call them, paddles. Um, I got, but I did get some balls. They're over there. I can't reach them, but I got some balls, got the net, and this I think was going to be for Henry because him and I have always wanted to like play pickleball, but we've just never gotten the chance to get out there. It's really hard with little ones to get out and play pickleball, but we have been playing outside like on our driveway in front of our house a lot, like doing, um, the, throwing the football and different things. So I thought, and playing on our scooters, we like to ride on our scooters a lot. Uh, my oldest has an electric scooter that the kids will take turn with my husband riding on. So anyway, we like being out there in the front, just being outside and being active. So I thought this would be another fun thing to do just in our driveway um, and just get us moving. I actually played tennis as a kid, so, or like a teenager. So I'm excited for this. I think this is so fun. Obviously it won't fit in the baskets, but I got it from Target. It was reasonably priced and I think that it'll just be a great way to get everybody outside and playing. Um, and yeah, I think I might say it's for everybody. So I probably might need to add a couple things to Henry's baskets. I don't know. We will see. But that was like the last hurrah, the big gift for everybody. So I tried to stick with like a theme and I think maybe I'm feeling like they don't have enough because I tried to be really good this year and only get them things I think that I feel, oh, another thing we're missing. Okay, and now it's all coming to me. Crocs. So they're all getting Crocs. Henry really wants some orange Crocs specifically. So we still have to order those. My husband needs to order those. Okay, that makes me feel better. Yeah, so that's a big gift is their Crocs. You know, getting sandals or something is a nice thing to throw in. So it doesn't have to be Crocs. Any kind of sandals for the summer that your family enjoys. We love Crocs in our family. So, um, yeah, we need to order those ASAP and get those. So Henry wants orange for the Astros. And so I think Carter doesn't care at all. So I think I'm going to get him navy to kind of go with Henry for the Astros theme because Carter loves the Astros. And then Jack wants rainbow. So they have like a boyish rainbow looking one I think he'll get. And then Charlie, I think we'll just get sparkly pink ones that I've seen because I just think that's cute. So yeah, they're all getting Crocs. I think that's a great thing to have in your Easter basket. So, and then of course, you know, some of the things I mentioned, like the bunch of balloons, we don't have yet either. So I need to remind myself that, that once we get all of those things, the baskets will feel full and it will be fun and an exciting day and they'll do the Easter egg hunt and get some money. So I think it'll be a really fun day and it's just enough. It's just enough, Madison. I think I went a little crazy with Charlie's Barbies and I might have to like, put some aside for like a gift for her when she's having a tough day or whatever for her birthday or something. I don't know. It's going to be tough for me not to give her those though. So, um, stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see these uh, baskets like all put together on Easter because I will show that. But I have been talking way too long, so I need to end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time. Bye.